folks, Mr. Raven here, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 21.1, actually. Just had a, a bigger update here. Um, I just got uh, back from vacation. Well, actually, it's been a, a little week since I got back, but I also bought a uh, new processor. CPU um, so I upgraded that and I also reinstalled Windows so yeah I'm kind of hoping that everything is running smoothly because no matter how much you plan and do backups and export files and whatnot uh, you can always forget something uh, I do I, I do remember I did remember too um, uh, save my save file uh, for my game but it seems like all my setting has been reset to stock so um, I'm kind of worried that something isn't as it used to should have saved my OBS files but I'm actually not sure that it's doing what I want to. I don't even have... I'm not even sure if I have um, the right settings there. I can't even remember my settings. Um, but I'm doing 100% on my GPU right now. I'm not getting um, encoding overloading. So I'm kind of worried that it's not recording with the uh, tensor cores or the uh, NVENC encoder um, that it's just recording in air quotes normally um, but I have to look at that afterwards loop back ah, or maybe I should empty out was a book a shotgun weekly let's read that magazine um <clears throat> if i remember correctly uh i was maybe a little um, oh a little too um brave what do you call it i don't know last time and I ended up getting myself killed which is well it's probably not a new thing <laughs> kind of always do that you know I think I got this and then I don't at all let's take that if we need the stamina um just a little bit of meat some bones don't have feathers over here. Um, so the plan is kind of to get a new mission and then don't overdo it. Why is they are stacked? Weird. Let's not bring them all. Let's just leave some of them. That one I need. I need to, to drop that one. Mm, let's leave the feathers. Don't have a shotgun anyways. I do have a machine gun, but let's leave that. <laughs> Don't want to be carrying around that much anyways. I forgot to. No, I have two stacks of feathers. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's an old stack and a new stack. Well, I haven't looted anything. I don't know. Weird. Let's drop that, drop that. Paper. Yeah, the paper could actually go over here, mostly because, you know, we use it for shells. Murky water. Eh, it's probably fine. Do we have anything we need to carry? Oh, we need the water. 
Oh, we actually have two stacks of water. Again. Weird. Feeling like things are popping into my inventory. Two stacks of pills? Can you give me like two stacks of money? I need that. Got a decent amount of eggs. Maybe we should bring the meat as well. Just to have something to eat. We can... Okay, we've got too much fuel here. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still really kind of worried about about not having encoding overload. Not not that I like having it, but I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm 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 recording in the higher. Kind of fun that the base is always a little little broke over here. Okay, let's see what he got for a uh, mission. Uh, like, how are you? Well, how are you? Let me see your inventory quickly. Got some books we could buy. Just to get smart, you know. We are wicked smart. Um, got some yaka juice. Um, but come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. Otherwise, it doesn't have anything. We don't want the close one, but we don't want to do a buried supply. So let's do north, six hundred and four meters. Thank you, friend. Godspeed. Let's see what that's all about. What's that old boat? Better close the door. Last time, uh, <laughs> zombies uh, were like swarming around inside when I got back. That's not good. Well, let me uh, run over to the mission and uh, I'll see you over there. Okay, we're here. Mm. Urban Kerber, Volume 4. Don't know why I had to say it like Urban Kerber. Stay down. That's no reason. It's the melon. Melon? Resident. Let's see. Could have done the uh, empty the house first and then do it again kind of deal. But uh, ah, it's no fun. It's no fun for you to watch me run through it twice, right? But uh, I think it's a, a thing normal people would do. And yeah, I'm not normal. I oh, don't have a f headlamp yet. Just trying to turn on uh, some lights for you guys because I feel like it's a little dark. Let's see if we can't. Um... Oh. Uh, ouch. I was trying to go down and then it went up. Oh, crap. Kill you. 
And I'm like, uh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Sorry. So, by the way, uh, our vacation was amazing. You know, um, Switzerland is kind of expensive, but also really, really, really beautiful. And um, we kind of started off going to um, Liechtenstein, like we did last year. Um, last year we went east, going into... Um, wow, it's getting dark. Ugh. Um, trying to go into uh, Austria last year and this year we went west going into Switzerland we actually had a extra day or an extra night in uh, Liechtenstein this year so we went out and got something to drink and eat and we actually saw some uh, old castles and stuff like that it's, 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 it's kind of small country it's like I don't know size of Langlet in Denmark uh, which is a small island or smaller -er 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 island um, but yeah that was actually kind of fun um, then we went to Zurich we had uh, three nights there I think uh, we just walked around saw the city and oh my god the old old part of Zurich is just really stunning and it, everything is well kept and uh, it was beautiful we lived in a, a hotel that was like just next to the, uh, the, the, the city library um, so we could kind of easily find our way around because shit I wanted to loot that before I Broke it down. Don't know why I'm breaking it down, actually. Maybe not. Uh, don't want to step on it. My mistake. I like the painting of a dog. A crown. It's a king dog. Oh. Are you kidding me? He woke up by uh, me stringing the bow. Got a Stupid arrow in his stupid face and his Oh my god, you're making me bleed. Okay, I'm a little rusty here, I think. Uh. Heal. Stay down, mofo. You also got an arrow in your mouth. Stupid turn. Didn't. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Don't know why I took the pistol. Didn't I bring bullets? Oh, I forgot to bring bullets. She. Well, so my fail safe is not in place. But yeah. Uh, maybe if we've gone into the newer part of Zurich, we could have used more than the, the three days we had. Um, but it was actually plenty of time to see the citizens. We're not like, you know, we're not like, uh, you know, let's go into a museum kind of people. Um, so yeah, we, we didn't do that. But we did see a lot of buildings like the opera and some state buildings and some old, really old buildings and just walk through the old town of Zurich, which was amazing. One day we just, you know, we walked around for like a couple of hours. Then we found this small side road cafe kind of deal. Uh, one of the side, side streets of one of the many main streets and we're just like let's sit sit here for a while and we just we sat there for like i don't know two hours drinking a couple of cocktails and 
just you know watching people walking by just relaxing that was amazing just what we needed I don't seeds are probably should, should save the seeds and that could save the snails snails nails <sighs> not so much stuff we really should save but i don't really want to carry i could eat there's no recipe on that one so we can eat that then we could um could drink either the coffee or the mega crush but don't really need it do i have any boots oh these are kind of i don't know uh such crap i'm a little rusty guys just need to get into the groove after three weeks vacation <laughs> anyways let's see here what's down here Sorry, just went quiet here. What's in these? Clay. Oh, we actually got a little bit of, um, what's the face? Can I heal that broken knee thingy? First aid bandage, first aid kit. Kit? Oh yeah, scrapped four of those last time. Oh crap. That was dumb. I remember. <laughs> Panicked. Scrapped it instead of used it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, after Zurich we kind of... Oh crap. After Zurich we kind of just um, decided to go to the mountains. So we really went to the mountains uh we were i was just on a app you know finding a hotel and i found a hotel that was on a mountain that was kind of you know far away i think it was like six kilometers from the italian border uh sasfi was the uh, name of the town I need to concentrate here, sorry. Um, and I thought I, I you know, I, I kind of always used the app there and I was, uh, you know, thinking um, we need, we need to have the breakfast facilities. Don't wanna, you know, it's nice to just wake up, go down, eat the breakfast, then go out. Um, and I, I clicked like, Wi-Fi, we want Wi-Fi, and we want a place to park a car because we're driving around um, in our own car. And uh, so when I picked the hotel, I didn't think anything of it. Uh, then a little later, my wife says, you do realize they don't have any parking, right? I was like, no, no, because I'm pretty sure it ticked off that we want parking. Yeah, but they don't. Really? Yeah, and it says here it's a, it's a car-free city. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you kind of have to park your car at the edge of the city, and then you, your only way to get around is walking or getting driven around in, in some small, like, golf car-looking kind of vehicles from the hotels and stuff. And I, okay. Uh, actually, we didn't get to there because I actually ended up calling them to hear how the the car situation actually were. Um, and he said, "Well, yeah, yeah, yeah just uh, just park at the uh, at the parking structure." And I was like, "Well, 
you know, is, is it easy to find or anything? Yeah, 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 you can't miss it. And we literally couldn't miss it because the road into the city just, you just, you know, come from the road, drive through the, uh, the, 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 the parking uh, garage, uh, paywall kind of deal. And then you're actually in the car park. So you couldn't miss it. <laughs> so it was actually pretty easy and stuff. Um, but our hotel was like a, a, com a couple of kilometers from the center of Sesfe. Um, so we kind of called him, said, we're here now. Okay, I wish you called it a little earlier because it takes like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get there. And we were like, well, it's fine. It's good weather. And the look, the view was amazing. I, I, I'm not kidding you. We had, uh, we were living in like in between mountains. And when you come from a land like Denmark, where there is no mountain at all, we, I think the highest hill we have is like 180 something meters. Um, the smallest mountain in the, in the area we were in was like 3.2 kilometers. And the highest one was like four or 4,200 or something and had a glacier and had snow on the top and everything. And oh, I just remembered, uh, I saw something over here. I can't remember if I looted. I did not. Perfect. Um, so yeah, that was just amazing. And we, we, we got picked up by a really, <laughs> really, you know, um, what do you call that? Um, uh, this guy was just, you know, really um, friendly and happy kind of guy. And he was, he told us a lot about himself and he was uh, Portuguese and was living in Switzerland and being, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, an everyman kind of guy on the, the hotel we were at. So, uh, yeah. Um, or oh, maybe we should take something for that. Uh, that thing we have. I can't remember the name of. Anyways. <laughs> um, don't think I brought the honey this time. No, I put it somewhere. Um, so yeah, he, he, he was just really nice, uh, and talkative and, well, yeah, he, he just want to, you know, I guess make us feel at home. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, no, I don't need the broken glass. The, um, the hotel was, as I was saying, a little bit out of uh, Sass Fay. So I think they kind of want to have this, um, they kind of want to make you feel welcome because I think they kind of knew that most people would probably pick them last because they weren't in the city of Sesfe, which was a uh, it was a ski resort kind of city. Uh, but we were there in the summer, so there's no snow and there's no ski guest. But but the city was still open and you could still you know hike the mountains and stuff like that. Okay, where's that supply? One up. The supplies up here somewhere. Um, well, anyways, um, so we, we, we came uh, up to the hotel and um, the Portuguese guys was just like, I'm going to take your stuff up to your room. And the owner was just welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you don't have any say uh, other than find a place to sit because I got a welcome drink for you guys. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, so we didn't actually have a choice. We kind of just have to uh, find a place to sit. So we found a spot on the terrace where a ter terrace where you could see all, most of the uh, mountain ranges in that 
erection. Um, and um, yeah, um, amazing view. Then he came with like two glasses of champagne. And here you go. And it, it, that was just like included in the price. And then he came with a little uh, plate of cheese and local local cheese and um, dried meat and um, so we just sat there for like an hour trying to relax but it was a little weird because we haven't really tried anything similar before oh right there <sighs> so yeah it was both kind of weird but also kind of nice I feel felt like um also because everyone was just really really nice and since our hotel was like outside the city we didn't actually go to Sesfe uh, that day after we landed um but we walked around a little bit in the mountain around the hotel it was like in the middle of a forest kind of deal we actually accidentally met another danish people a person uh, <laughs> that's also came to Sesfe, uh, was just planning to be there for a ski guide kind of deal for uh, like half a year. Now it's 30 years later. <laughs> he told us that. <laughs> and uh, that was kind of funny that you just meet a Danish person in the middle of a forest. Um, totally random. But that was also kind of you know, cozy to do that. After the walk, we just went into the restaurant and got the menu. And the menu was like, we only have this one thing. You don't have to choose it all. But you have a starter. We have a uh, main course. And we have a dessert. And you can choose to have uh, uh, a wine. Uh, compliments. Um, and the first day, we just got a couple of cocktails. And, and then we took the whole menu. Which but that day was... I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was five things. So it was actually a little fun starter from from the chef in the kitchen, which was also really friendly and uh, talkative and also just kind of randomly popped out of the kitchen and talked to the guest and stuff, which was kind of cozy. <laughs> um, and then uh, the, the day after we got Oh, you got to get this uh, pass. I got this pass for you, uh, so you can ride like the bus around in in the city. You can also go down to Sassbrunt and 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 take some of the cable cars there and, and stuff like that. So we actually got like a free pass included with our stay uh, for the um, the cable cars and stuff like that, which was kind of cool. So we went for. Uh, I'm not sure if I misunderstood the woman that gave us it but we went with one cable car and then it didn't work the next one so i'm not sure if it's just for one ride or not but we went up on top of one of the mountain just stood there and went, oh my god uh, uh, people that hasn't uh, people that don't live in countries with mountains uh, you can't really describe view like that if you if you haven't seen that view before um do yourself that favor and go somewhere with really really tall mountains and find a um find a little hotel it doesn't have to be expensive or anything we ended up in a pretty expensive hotel but uh, yeah honey gotcha um, so that was that was actually kind of funny. Uh, that was a good experience. And the day after that, we came down uh, after we were walking around, and then we come back and relax in our room. And then, oh, maybe we should don't. Let's let's just go down and and see what the menu is today. We came down, and the owner was sitting there on his spot when he, when we came in, and he was like, "No, I was like, uh, oh, are we the first one again today?" And he was like, "No, no, no, people are down in the wine cellar." Um, the, the chef is, uh, is is letting you try some of his wine. Uh, and you should do that too. Come, 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 come. And he was like, 
oh, okay, okay. And then we were just there with a couple, uh, there was two other couples and a man. I think the, the first couple was like, uh, what is, it's an Austrian and a German couple. And the other couple was, I think it was also Austrian, but a British wife. I think it was and then the last guy that was there he was uh american indian uh, not a native american but india american um and we got to talk with them and it was really uh, really lovely actually and kind of when you see people in in the hotel after that it was like hello hello how are you oh i'm fine so you got more you got to know your I was my inmates. That's the wrong word. Um, but fellow fellow hotelian guests. That's not even a word either. But it was kind of funny. Uh, and after that, we drove to uh, Freiburg near Bern because it it turned out that first of August in Switzerland is kind of like a big deal, a national holiday or something. So all the Pretty much all the cheaper uh, and cheap hotels were booked the 1st of August. Uh, so we ended up going to Freiburg instead. But it turned out to be a really nice city. It should be read on the interwebs. And that's already always right, you know. Um, read that that was uh, it should be the oldest and well-preserved uh, old city centered in Switzerland. And it looked old and it looked good. <laughs> it was really beautiful. Uh, there was this, um, it was actually pretty smart done because the city was like in, in two plateaus with pretty high, um, pretty high. I'm not going to make it in before it closes because I'm overburdened and my knees hurt and, oh, Anyways, so there was this, um, it was not, it was not really a train. Uh, it was on tracks, but there was like a, a lower station and a higher station. And the two carriage was connected by wire. So the upper one was filled with water. So it was uh, just a little bit heavier than the lower one. And then it just let go of the brakes. And then the, the, the upper wagon kind of uh, pulled the lower wagon up to the top. And then on the middle, there was like two tracks where they crossed each other or met each other. And then pretty smart. It was like from the 18, 18, I don't know, 18 something, 100. So it was kind of old. Well, it was well preserved, of course. But. And the funny part was we were sitting there. It was the first time we ever tried this thing. And then, like, I don't know, 10 meters before this top station, we were going up. Uh, it was like, Ooh. and then the guy from the other wagon he kind of forgot to uh, fill the water tank. Probably, uh, probably, uh, probably filled it. Damn it. So, uh, so we didn't make it to the top. So he had to, I don't know what he did because we couldn't see it from where we were sitting. But, but I'm, I'm thinking he was kind of, you know, I don't know. Jumping out, walking down, getting some more water to fill on his, in his tank. Um, so he could get a little heavier. Actually getting down. But that, was, that was pretty smart. Pretty clever system, actually. Simple. Just worked. Didn't have to really use anything but, you know, a pump. To pump water over in a reservoir to make yourself a little heavier. And then just letting the water out again. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Uh, and then after that, we actually... The plan was to uh, had, have a stay over in... In... Uh, uh, Fulda in Germany. Uh, but we were actually just... We're on the way home. We can do this. And um, we actually just drove, uh, drove the 1400 kilometers in one go. Uh, we landed in Denmark like... 
I think about 15 hours later or something. But we also had breaks and we also just went into the border shop before hitting Denmark, stuff like that. That. So yeah, um, we're just gonna deliver the mission in the next video and see what we get because, um, yeah, oh shit. Oh, he's feral. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Stupid. Stupid. Feral zombie. Can't go around here in the night. Oh crap, I'm out of bullets. Um, don't. Oh, that was so close. Ooh, ooh I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. Ah, ah. Oh, 2 HP. Oh. Uh, that's not even funny. Didn't I have two bullets? Pretty sure I had two bullets in this gun. When did I use that? Crap, now what? Now what? Something's broken. Okay, I'm inside. I should be safe, but I'm not. It's just wood. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, guys. It's a little long video this time, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed anyways. And if you did, please show support by leaving a thumbs up. If you have any questions, advice, or just want to say something funny, please do so down in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And the last thing I want to do is just wish you all a great day. Have fun gaming.